Nugent will attempt a 40-yard field goal. He's connected tonight from 34 and 29. This to give Ohio State its first lead of the night. Out of the hold of Toronto, the punter. We await the snap. Here it is. Placement made. Kick on the way by Nugent. It's up and it is no good. He missed it. Wide to the right. Nugent with a very rare miss. And now the Wildcats can win it with any kind of a score. I mentioned he missed one time this year against Cincinnati. He made them 27 and 23 that game, but he missed one at 53 yards. Well, guess what? He just missed a second of the year. And now Wide the, right. All right, but now the Wildcats have to answer. They got an answer. Their offense has been very productive. They've had 23 first downs, 141 on the ground, 278 in the air for 419. The game is there to be won it for is. Wildcats. They, Any kind of a score will win it. They've moved the ball. Bazinet has him first and 10 at the 25. Baz will give it off. Heron inside the 25, just barely. Down he goes at the 24 in the arms of Anthony Schlegel. Second down and nine coming up, a gain of only one. Mike Adamley yesterday called on Randy Walker to give Heron 33 carries, and he's almost there. What's he got now, Dave? He's got 31. There you he go. He wears number 33, and <laughs> I'll tell you the rest of that in a moment. I'd like to go to Vegas with him after this game. Mike Adamley, that is. Second and nine. Inside the 25 of the Buckeyes, empty backfield, snap to Bass. He'll take it himself inside the 20, to 15, 10, to the 5, and out of bounds. Inside the 5 at the 3 yard line. First and goal for the Wildcats. Dante Whitner kept Ohio State alive in this game, but maybe only temporarily. The unexpected. It's all about the unexpected. No one expected a Bazinet with a bad shoulder to run it off left tackle after he faked a pass. And that was a great call and a gutsy move. First and goal at the three. Cats go for the win here over the Buckeyes. Under center, Brett Bazinet. Bazinet gives it off. Heron off the left side of the line pushes his way down to the one. Or close to it, it'll be second and goal. You want to score here, you want to score here. A.J. Hawk on the stop, Mike Kudla also there. Second and goal at the one. This is all about the offensive line, folks, winning the game now. The offensive line wins the game. You score with your man, you score with the guy in front of you, you win the ball game. That's what it's up to, the front five now, they can win the game right here. Capture a yard and a half away from the win. Second and goal. In overtime, 27 all. Bazinet under center. Brett gives Heron up the middle. The Wildcats win! The Wildcats win! For the first time since 1971, the Northwestern Wildcats have defeated the Ohio State Buckeyes. And they have beaten them here in Evanston for the first time since 1958. Do I dare say it? This place is pandemonium. It's up for grabs. The Cats are being mobbed as the students storm the field. The 33rd carry for number 33. And for the first time in 33 years, the Wildcats beat the Buckeyes by a final score of 33 to 27. Unbelievable. Northwestern 33, Ohio State 27. And the celebration is on here at Ryan Field.